state district court judge. Unacceptable. Let me begin by saying, as of February 2021, the United States Army removed minimum hair length requirements and lifted restrictions on any soldier wearing braids, twists, locks, and cornrows in order to promote inclusivity and accommodate the hair needs of soldiers. In February 2021, the fighting men and women of the United States Army were given the permission and removed the minimum hair length requirements and lifted restrictions on any soldier wearing braids, twists, locks, and cornrows. That means if you want to have the Marine cut, you can have it. If you want to be bald, you can have it. If you want to wrap your hair because you happen to be Native American and there's something that you choose to uh, emphasize, you can have it. In the United States of America. They located a black barber from San Francisco who had written about styling black hair. And they sent him traveling around US military installations, army installations all over the world. He spent three weeks in Germany and England where he taught 750 barbers and 300 beauticians. And then he did a 40 day whirlwind tour of Alaska, Hawaii, and Southeast Asia. He taught barbers how to cut black hair. This is him. Um, teaching barbers in Tokyo. I gave this uh, a version of this talk in Tokyo in, in January and um, had a lot of requests for copies of this photograph. Afros, yeah, you know, they're, they're sort of modified, but at least they were teaching the proper tools and techniques and they were guaranteeing that they wouldn't be charged more for Afros than white soldiers were charged for regulation haircuts. It wasn't going to be a specialty haircut, it was just a haircut. Second thing they did was to create a list of ethnic products that had to be in stock everywhere. I can't find a picture of the Army. This is the Air Force. I apologize, nonetheless. 